has been an immense slog for Boeing. Five years since their first uncrewed test flight failed. Uh, and then they had to fly that mission again two years, uh, three years later. Uh, and then they had more issues, uh, including today. It has not been a spotless flight, but they managed to do it. And the astronaut said that it was, uh, it's been fairly comfortable and Boeing seemed confident in an afternoon press conference that they can work through these issues for their next flight. I mean, it just gives a reminder of what this helium is used for. I mean, I was reading earlier, and this is used to pressurize the spacecraft's thrusters and allows them then to fire. So, I mean, they're going to try and return back to Earth in, in eight days' time. We're not sort of worried about uh, any complications here, I guess. Or at least they're not. And, and, and that's what we heard this evening from Boeing uh, uh, directly. Uh, they had a helium leak before they launched. They knew what it was. They had plenty of supply uh, for this mission. Uh, uh, late yesterday after launch, they detected two more uh, helium leaks. And then uh, another one actually after reaching the space station. What they were doing uh, in the meantime is they were shutting off those systems to conserve all of that. Uh, and then they would turn them on when they needed the thrusters. So it all worked fine. They still want to know exactly what's going on with those leaks, why they keep happening. Uh, and at the same time, they had a separate issue. They lost five thrusters. Uh, on the on the spacecraft propulsion system on uh, just during docking itself they were able to recover four of them at delayed docking by about an hour required some manual control by the astronauts uh, but they want to figure out what that was about too uh, again uh, they say that it's no issue for the rest of the mission uh, and now it's onboard testing uh, throughout